Hi everyone, it's Jennifer. Um, I'm happy to have a chance to sit down and do a video. Um, as you can see, I'm finally back at my table. Yay! Um, I got it moved upstairs and um, I also was gifted from a friend, um, actually my boss at work. Um, her son and daughter-in-law were getting rid of a entertainment center and um, it's actually a really nice piece solid wood um and they gifted it to gifted it to me um and it won't fit our tv and actually our tv is mounted on the wall but i thought it was perfect to use in my craft space to store um my supplies so i'm happy to get that and i got that moved up here too um have not had the time to organize it yet. So everything behind me is a mess right now. But just the fact that it's, I got everything up here and um, can begin organizing has just been been good so I can craft more. Um, I, as you can see, um, my Cricut, this is my new Cricut. Uh, I had the original Cricut, um, the little one that had like the six by 12 mat, um, that I had purchased eight years ago, maybe even nine years ago. So, um, I've had it for quite a long time and it really had served its purpose. Like, um, pretty much had, had no complaints, you know, as even as far as the size for most of what I did, I mean, um, it worked well. It had recently started to act up though, um, and with the fact that I participate in swaps each month, um, and some of them do require that you use a die cutting machine, um, I had kind of begun to worry about it kind of quitting on me out of the blue, um, and I didn't want to take that chance. And so I had, gosh, I don't know, a month or two ago, kind of started looking around, um, just kind of keeping my eyes open for um, what Cricut machine I wanted and where to get it. And um, I actually ended up getting the Expression 1, the first one. Um, I had looked and read reviews and read different things, you know, on all of them. I know they have the Explorer now and they have the Expression 2 and the Mini. and um, Which a friend of mine actually at church, she just got the Explorer for her Christmas present. Um, the reason I did not get the Explorer is because you have to use internet with it and we have Wi-Fi here. We do not have a computer though. So, um, and have anything to hook it up to. We use our smartphones and our tablets pretty much for what we need. And, um, at some time we will probably get a computer or a laptop of some sort, but we don't have one currently. So I really didn't think it was in my best interest to, um, buy a machine that I couldn't use right away. And then between the, um, the expression one and the expression two, I just, um, the reviews to me seemed better for the expression one. And, uh, I felt for me, it would be more user friendly. So that's why I chose it. And, um, you can see I've got it set up, um, on my table, which I'm very happy about. I actually got it last week, but I hadn't had a chance to set it up. Um, I got it off of Amazon and, um, I had watched it. They had had it for one forty nine, I believe. And Joanne said it also had it for one forty nine, And those were the two lowest I could find. Walmart showed it on their website, but they were sold out of it. Um, so, and no Walmart even remotely close to me had it in store. Um, I don't know about Walmart's elsewhere, but ours, um, just, they just don't carry a whole lot of craft supplies. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I couldn't even find it in another state close by. I mean, it was just, so anyway, so, um, I kept watching. I knew there'd be Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale, so I kept watching and kept watching, and it went down to 129 again on both Amazon and Joann's, the lowest I could find, 
and um, I ended up having a credit for Amazon and was able to put that towards my Cricut and so I got it under a hundred dollars which I thought was really good considering how expensive they are and I know the Explorer went for oh, oh my goodness quite a bit um even Black Friday you know Walmart well and I will say this though Walmart near me did have the Explorer but that's the only one they had so um so I was, I was excited. I actually, the funny thing is I got my expression was, uh, only $20 more than what I paid for my original cricket eight or nine years ago. And I got it on Black Friday. So like I said, I didn't feel too bad about, you know, I felt like I did pretty good. Um, and then it, it came with the cord to hook it to the computer too and all that. But like I said, I don't have one right now. So um, I'm fine using my cartridges for now. I enjoyed doing them. So, um, at, then I went back a couple days later on Amazon and I bought an extra set of cutting mats because it comes with the one, but I know that it's good to have extras. I also bought an extra set of blades and then, um, something I've been wanting for a while and I just haven't gotten. And I'm sure this really isn't new to anyone else, but it's new to me. And it makes me happy is um, I got a scoring board. I got the Martha Stewart scoring board. Um, I got it, I felt, for a good price. I believe it was on sale, so that was good. Uh, plan on using that. So, you know, just like I said, good, good stuff. Um, I wanted to share with you, I did a swap recently for, we did ticket strips. And, um, I signed up for three different categories and, uh, I always, I, I do my swaps and I think, oh, I need to do a video of what I made before I send it off. And then life happens and next thing you know, it's time to send it. And if I don't, it's going to be late and I don't want to be late and let others down. So I send it. Um, so I decided this time when I got them back, I would go ahead and share with you what I got and, um, I need to go grab mine because I think I left them over on a, another table. Give me just a second. Okay, yeah. So mine, um, I had sent in place markers for mine. Um... So I actually had mine here. That's why they were in another spot. But like I said, I signed up for three categories. Um, I signed up for fall, winter, and then Christmas. So I will show you the fall ones first. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and share with you the ones that I received so, from others. Make sure they're not stuck together or nothing. Um, the rules were that, you know, it had to be, you could make the ticket strip yourself. Um, it didn't have to be pre-made tickets. Uh, it had to be embellished at least three times, I believe. And um, it had to be a strip of five tickets. So, um... My tickets are a little chunky. I, lo I love them. I hope everyone else liked them. But they're, like I said, they're a little chunky. They're not quite as narrow as everyone else's. Um, when we originally started the swap, uh, someone had posted on the swap thread that um, had the dimensions to make them yourself. And... The dimensions she gave were a little bit wider, and those are what I had used, and which everyone was fine with. But like I said, in comparison, mine are mine are kind of chunky. So um, this is the the first set I got. Ooh, trying to figure out my angle. Um, which this is just a this is a pre bought 
ticket strip. Ooh, that's really bright. There we go. And they had attached some of that wired garland with leaves on it. And then um, there's a couple of little, they're like enamel dots, but they're textured. And then a couple squirrels and a turkey. So that was one of them I received. Um, I got this one which says, Happy Thanksgiving. Again, sorry, I'm trying to figure out. I'm sitting at a weird angle to my camera, but um, there's this one, which I love the leaves on this one. There's, uh, this one is like, let's see, I think it's like a felt leaf, but, and it's all glittery and it's got the acorn. And then um, they had put those tiny, 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 like, little, um, beads. Gosh, I don't even, I, I know there's an actual word for them, and I can't think of it, but anyways, there and there, and then these leaves, which are, um, not really felt, but anyways, and they're super glittery. Like, I love those. The brown and the orange. And then just a little Happy Thanksgiving piece here. So, and, oh, and then the paper, which I don't know if you can tell, maybe when I turn it, um, is shimmery. And it looks like they had sprayed it with, um, I guess like a glimmer mist or something, but it's really pretty. So, and this is one, this was a handmade tickets. So, uh, the next one I got is this one, which says autumn. And they used a printed paper, and then they did these cutouts, which they popped up. And then they um, stickled or glittered the the acorns, which that's what they are, leaves and acorns. And they did the cutout of autumn, and they shadowed it. And then again, that little cutout. So I thought that was really cute. And then this one, which is fall. Um, and I think, let's see. Okay, the last one that said autumn was a handmade one. And then this one is a store-bought ticket strip that they used for the base and then covered it with paper and then put uh, the letters fall and then the leaves and then they added, like, there's there's a pumpkin and a leaf and another leaf and another leaf. So, real cute. Love the colors of that one. And then this is the one I made. Which, like I said, my, my tickets are kind of chunky. <laughs> um, you can kind of see if you compare the two. They've got the ticket shape, they're chunky. And then I did mine handmade. I did mine on really, like, chipboard, which I probably will not do again because I like how sturdy it is, but punching the holes out, my goodness, it made my hand hurt. So I probably won't be doing it on the chipboard again. But I have this yellow paper, which I don't know. Ooh, it might not focus that close. I don't know, it's hard to see. But it's more of a darker mustard color, and then it's um, embossed with leaves, like glitter, like iridescent. So, like I said, it's kind of hard to see in the camera. But And then I did these um, kind of swirl designs behind it. And it made me think of like a breeze, like a wind, you know, the wind blows and the leaves fall. So, and then I did the leaves here and here and behind the word fall. And then the two acorns and I inked all the edges on mine. I inked the acorns. Um, and then on like the, the swirls on the tips of them, I used, um, gosh, I don't remember what the color is and I don't want to tell you wrong. Anyways, um, it was Tim Holtz Distress uh, stickles. So those are on there. And then um, I cut out my letters and I matted them and then I stickled over them to give them like shine. So that was my fall one. And then the next one I'm going to do is winter. Which I got back a ticket strip from winter that I made. So I think somebody must have 
not completed theirs because I was short one and I also got mine back. So, um, here's the first one, which it actually goes this way. And this is again the store bought ticket. Um, the little wreath, it's like a hard, like a, maybe it was a button or something, and it's all glittery. And it says, Don't. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle was stamped on there, which it's not shown over a lot. And then the two gingerbread men. And then there's a um, Santa Claus stamped with his hat. And then a little reindeer and the snowman. And what's cute about the snowman is they cut out like a glittery circle like snow. And they put the tiniest little pearls behind it that kind of looks like snow falling. I don't know. Like, I've never seen pearls that small, like the flat back pearls. So, um, that's that one. And then, this is the next one. This was a handmade ticket strip. And they put the paper on it. They added, there's snowflake here, and here, and here, and here. All really pretty glitter rhinestones. And then they added the words, or the letters, I'm sorry. The letters just spell out snow and it's just done in like you know silver and white and and blue so good winter colors so that's that one um and i just realized i think yeah i had noticed this before and i i caught it and i didn't fix it and so i just was doing it again but the um oh goodness the first one I showed you is a Christmas one and they got put in my winter bag and like I said I didn't correct it and then I believe yeah my winter one I, basically a winter and a Christmas one got swapped so they were in in the wrong bag so um it was supposed to be this one this one was their their winter one which is the Is that the store? Huh. Okay, I just noticed. So it's the same same person who did these. Um, this is the Christmas one. This is the winter one. And they put the winter one in the Christmas bag. The Christmas one in the winter bag. But um, I'm trying to... Yeah, okay. So this is a store-bought strip, but... On this one, they went ahead and uh, punched punched the holes where this one they didn't. So this was their winter one, and it has the snowflake paper and then snowflake stickers on it. So and then rhinestone. So that was the one they did, which I thought this this sticker is so neat. Just the maybe okay. I am not doing good with my angles here, but um, you can kind of see like all the little pieces. So. So that's the other, another winter one. And then, um, there's this one, which is like a really pale green. And then it's got, um, pine cones printed on it. And then they actually cut out a pine cone right there and there. And they put winter wonderland. And then at the top of winter, they glued, um, like the iridescent flakes that kind of look like snow so that one's real pretty and that was a handmade strip and then this is my version of the winter one which I got two because I had my original one and then the one I got back so what I did is this background paper um it's if you saw the whole sheet it looks like a sweater like a kind of a Christmas winter sweater like it's got like the different stitches and designs and then um, I uh, used my Cricut and cut out these border pieces, which are the mittens. And um, then I cut out the sled and I added the snowflake and I, I inked everything again. And then I stickled the like swirl pieces behind it. So they're really, really shiny and then put little rhinestones on it. And then I cut out this piece, which says burr, you know, like cold and stickled over that thing, over that piece. So <clears throat> it's a uh, very, very glittery and shiny and it, it looks really pretty in person. So, 
I thought it was, it was a nice piece. So, um, those are my winter ones. And then last are my Christmas ones. And, um, give, I'm trying to find my Christmas one that I made. I guess I didn't grab it and I'm not sure where it is and I'm not going to go hunt for it now because who knows how long it would take. Um, it was though, it had, um, background paper with, um, holly leaves on it and then it had each little ticket spot had an ornament on it and the ornament had Noel on it and then, you know, of course it was all inked and, you know, had, um, twine at the top and, um, glitter and, and stuff on it so it was real real cute I thought uh, uh, I don't know. anyways if, if I find it I'll I'll show it in another video um to the other thing I forgot to mention is that you were given the option of um decorating the entire strip like this as one so it's like one piece or like this one where each individual ticket has its own so I could if I really wanted to you know cut the tickets apart and use them individually if I wanted to so um so these are the last of my Christmas ones there's this one which I believe this one is a homemade strip and they added the ornament here turn it and then the tree here and then um the this is just part of the design of the paper and then the the ho 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 which is all all glittered up and then um this one which has believe on it and then the the red enamel dot there this was a homemade one which i love the um cut out of believe that they have them i need to find out where they got that from because I think it's just beautiful script <clears throat> and then the last one I got is this one which is another homemade one and this one's done in golden cream and it's just got the star here and a little tiny jingle bells little tiny pearls and then this star with the ribbon and then another jingle bell tiny pearls and another star so these were my ticket strips that I received back um, like I said I showed you two of mine um, I'm going to be, you know, keeping these to, to add to projects and, um, and to use for, for different upcoming things. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know if you can hear it on the video or not. I'm a little hoarse. Uh, we had been sick off and on since Thanksgiving and pretty much over it. But it's like every once in a while, I'll get a catch in my throat. My throat will get a little bit sore. Um, or I'll still have a tiny bit of a cough. And <clears throat> just the, the talking makes me have to clear my throat. And um, like I said, I start sounding a little hoarse. So, um, oh, and then I have a question. I completely forgot. My cutting mat. Um, it came with me from California to Mississippi. We rented a moving truck, movers went ahead of us, and then we had my car. And, um, my husband and I, you know, we were just so busy packing and he didn't think anything of it and I didn't know, so I didn't say anything. He put my mat on top of the spare tire and, uh. It left these marks and I've cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it and I can't get them off and I I feel like there should be something that would take it off I just don't know what it is you know um, if anybody has any ideas of a cleaning product or something that I could use to um, remove the marks if you could let me know I'd really appreciate it um, I'm sorry, it's such a long video. I know I'm taking a lot of pauses and a lot of stopping a lot. Um, 
probably talking a lot, but I'm just, things have been really busy and hectic here and I've been really scatterbrained. So trying to keep my thoughts straight is, is taking a lot of effort between being sick and the holidays and my job, which has been going well, but then at the same time, they, um, there's a group of five of us that work together and we all had a specific job we did every day. And, um, they decided to swap everybody. And so we are all doing a different job than we were previously doing the week before. So it's all new and we're having to learn. And, um, there's just been a lot going on. And like I said, keeping my thoughts straight is taking a lot of effort. So it kind of slows me down a little bit, but, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've, had a good time being able to shoot one and I hope to have another one soon. So I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.